Hello, hello, hello. It's Friday. You know that's time for the Friday Live. Thank you so much for joining me, whether you're here live or if you're on the replay. I'm just so grateful that you're here. I'm Coach Ingrid Hughes, the CEO and founder of Team Life Changers, where we change lives every single day, starting with our own. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Thank you again for joining me. You guys know that I am a health and fitness change agent a transformation architect, a team beach body coach, all of those titles all wrapped up into one who helps people get healthier through at-home fitness and nutrition. And I strive to add value every single day of the week. And on Fridays, I come to you live through a little segment that I like to call what I learned this week. And what I learned this week is fault finding. What good is it? Do you know how valuable it is to allow others to save face instead of seeking to find fault. See, we rarely stop to think about it as we ride roughshod over uh, other people's feelings, berate or publicly criticize a spouse, a client, a child, an employee, or anything like that in front of other people. Might those harsh words, if we stop to think about it, just be a little too humiliating for somebody when it's announced in front of an audience? If we just pause, and perhaps give a genuine understanding of the other person's perspective and motives, it might just minimize the sting. Even better yet, what if we replace that negativity of fault finding altogether with the positive effects of letting others save face and maintain their dignity? What if instead we build folks up, give them assurances that we have the confidence in them that they can do a better job, that they can do a fantastic job and express genuine words of encouragement in front of that audience versus a public bashing, a, ver a public verbal bashing. Can you imagine the confidence and determination to do their very best that that would create? Real leaders always allow others to save face and they never ever attempt to humiliate. There was this awesome quote that I came across this week from a French aviator and author and it reads, I have no right to say or do anything that diminishes a man in his own eyes. What matters is not what I think of him, but what he thinks of himself. Hurting a man in his dignity is a crime. That was so poignant to me this week. So here's this week's call to action. You and I are persons of influence, whether you and I are persons of influence, whether we realize it or not. So let's do our very best to make certain we don't say or do anything to anyone that makes them feel diminished in how they see and feel about themselves. Oh, by the way, did you see my event invite on Facebook and on um, Instagram for tomorrow morning at nine o'clock Eastern time, nine o'clock AM Eastern time? It's only for those who wanna create an opportunity for themselves by helping other people get healthy and fit. Is that you? You wanna join me? Yeah, okay, go ahead and register, it's free. <laughs> It's going to be online so you don't have to go anywhere. And again, it's free. Again, I'm so grateful that you're here. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed and healthy day. Bye.